six, seven, eight. And my fingers slip off the keys. 
I become impaled in this typewriter. I become one with this manual typewriter. I'm stuck. You, you. I've had a little mishap with your typewriter. The woman comes in. She takes one look at the typewriter and says, I'm not permitted to touch the machine. So fast forward, an hour and a half later, the typewriter repair man comes, he disassembles the entire machine, and gets me out. I'm okay. I'm okay. But the woman is furious. She takes my resume, she crumples it up, she stuffs it in her pocketbook, and banishes me to the streets of New York. I'm banished. <laughs> but, as luck would have it that evening, she goes to a cocktail party. And there's a man there from Chase Manhattan Bank. And he says that Chase is looking to possibly train and hire two women to become executives at Chase. And the woman says, does she need to know how to touch? <laughs> and the man says no. So she opens up her pocketbook, she takes out my crumpled resume, she smooths it out, and hands it to the man from Chase Manhattan Bank. And the next day, I receive a phone call. It's the man from Chase Manhattan Bank. And he says that Chase is looking to possibly train and hire two women to become executives in the international department. Wow. Now, could we recap wow. <laughs> one second? At this point in time, Chase Manhattan Bank has 54,000 employees. And they're looking to possibly train and hire two women. <laughs> now, this is what I hear. He says to me, how would you like to be part of mobile credit? And I think mobile credit, mobile credit. I get it. Chase is going to be sending its female executives out in little vans <laughs> into the neighborhood, like bookmobiles, blood no mobiles, out into the neighborhood to offer services, like checking accounts, credit cards, savings accounts. What a great idea. You know, I don't know how to drive a van. <laughs> I've, never, I've never driven a stick shift. But I can learn. And I tell the man from Chase Manhattan Bank, I am definitely interested in the job. And he says, good. You'll interview next week. Now, I know I need to be prepared. I need to be professional. I'm going to be out there for all women. I sign up for stick shift lessons. <laughs> <laughs> and the next week, I get into Chase Manhattan Bank to interview for the big job. And the man from Chase says, why are you interested in the job? Why am I interested in mobile credit? I think it's fantastic that Chase is going to be sending its female executives out into the neighborhood in little vans, <laughs> like bookmobiles, bloodmobiles, out into the neighborhood to offer services like checking accounts, credit cards, savings accounts. I'm in for mobile credit. <laughs> and he says, are there any impediments to your success? <laughs> well, you should know that I've never driven a van. <laughs> I don't know how to drive a stick shift. But I think mobile credit is fabulous, and I can learn. Chase is going to be on the cutting edge. There are no other banks in Manhattan offering mobile credit. <laughs> I've checked, and he says, are you saying mobile credit? <laughs> mobile credit? <laughs> that depends. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
mobile credit. It's global credit. <laughs> global like the world. No bookmobiles, no bloodmobiles. <laughs> no stick ships. No vans. It's global credit like the world. <laughs> I get the job. <laughs> <laughs> Just perfect. 
We get off the elevator and I position him behind me so he doesn't see my bloody knee and ripped pantyhose. And of course, I practice my professional prance. <laughs> now, we are walking past a part of the bank called the platform. And the platform in a bank is where the executives sit in little rows of desks. And since they're only male executives at the Chase Manhattan Bank, we're walking past a sea of men. They know I'm going to interview to become an executive, but I notice they're kind of tittering. They're kind of laughing. They're giggling at me. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I may be an assistant platform assistant now, but someday I'll be a whole platform assistant. <laughs> We get into Frank Bob's office, and what's most important is hasn't seen my bloody knee. And the interview begins. Neil. <laughs> As a woman, what makes you think you can make it through the global credit department? As a woman, what makes you think you can market to men? As a woman, as a woman, as a woman, as a woman, how are you going to put men at ease? <coughs> Frank Bob, <laughs> as a woman, I've developed marketing techniques that will instantaneously put men at ease. Are you not at ease, Frank Bob? Are you not at ease? Think of me as a man in a dress. <laughs> I did a great job. I know I'm going to get this job. Now this time, when Frank Bob is going to walk me back to the elevator, and I once again position him behind me, and we're walking past the men on the platform, it's not just a sea of men. It's a herd of men. All the men from Chase Manhattan Bank have gathered and they're not just tittering and laughing. They're screaming laughing. They're pounding their desks. They're high-fiving. Go ahead and laugh. I'm going to be your boss someday. I get back to the elevator and shake Frank Bob's hand goodbye. I nailed it. I know I'm going to get this job. Now I can finally get into the ladies' room, clean up my bloody knee, and get a new pair of pantyhose. So I go into the ladies' room. And I'm standing before a full-length mirror. And I notice that there's another little mishap that took place when I rolled up and down the stairs at Chase Manhattan Bank. It's not just my bloody knee and ripped pantyhose that I have to worry about. The hem of my skirt is caught in my industrial strength. <laughs> 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 Okay. Hey. 
recap. <laughs> Why should Chase hire women? 